Okay, so of course we did the formula Tn is A plus N minus 1 into D. Sn is N by 2 into 2A plus N minus 1 into D, which will turn out to be N by 2 into A plus 1. Okay, so A plus L, which in this case is nothing but the last term. The first term I told you T1 plus Tn. Okay, let's see some of these. So we have the first question coming over here 1, 3, 5, 7. Find six term and sum of six terms. So mentally verify is this an AP? 3 minus 1 is 2, 5 minus 3 is 2, 7 minus 5 is 2. So yes, it is an AP. Here the first term A is 1 and D is nothing but 3 minus 1, 2. So we use the formula Tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d because the question asked is find the sixth term. So we will use t6 which is going to be a that is 1 plus n is 6, 6 minus 1 into 2. So it is going to be 1 plus 5 into 2, 10 which is going to be 11. We can always say 7, the next one is going to be 9 and then the next is going to be 11 that is the sixth term is 11. So the sixth term is 11, T6. So that is the sixth term. Sum of six terms. So sum of six term you are going to use Sn is n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. We can use this or we can use Sn is equal to n by 2 upon into T1 plus T6 which you already found us as 11. So n by 2 in this case n is going to be 6 so it is going to be 6 by 2 into 2a that is 2 into 1 plus 6 minus 1 into d. d in this case is 2 which will turn out to be 3 into 2 plus 10. 6 minus 1 5 into 2 so 12 into 3 36. So sum of the first 6 terms is 36. And you can check it up and see 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 is nothing but 7 plus 11 is nothing but 31. Sorry, we, we need 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 is nothing but 36. So the first six terms on adding is 36 and the sixth term is 11. Now this business of actual verifying by adding may not be possible every time in this case n is small hence we are able to do it. But this is just to make you understand how valid this particular formula is. From here we move on to the next situation. Okay, now they have asked what is the nth term? Devise a formula for the nth term and sum of n term using a and d. So a we know is 1, d we know is 2. So tn is nothing but a plus n minus 1 into d. So we don't know what n is. We have to devise a general formula for the nth term. So a is going to be 1 plus n minus 1 into 2 which will turn out to be 1 plus 2n minus 2 which will be 2n minus 1. Therefore the nth term is nothing but 2n minus 1. Say for example the second term is going to be 2 into 2 4 minus 1. The fourth term is 2 into 4 8 minus 1 7 and so on. Sn would be n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So we don't know what n is because that may vary. A in any case is 1 plus n minus 1 into d. D turns out to be 2. So which will turn out to be n by 2 into 2 plus 2n minus 2. This gets cancelled and we eventually have n squared because even this 2 gets cancelled. So Sn that is sum of these odd numbers is nothing but square of these numbers. For example, you want to find S2 is nothing but 2 square 4 and you just see 1 plus 3 is 4. S3 is nothing but, uh, S3 is going to be 5 square. Accordingly, we will get these things, 5 square. Sorry, 3 square which is 9, that is 5 plus 3 plus 1, that is 9. So thus, we have devised the formula for this. And if you see, this is also the formula for the sum of the 
first n odd natural number this is the nth odd natural number the general formula for which we shall come across later on too furthermore we have here the fifth term and twelfth term of an ap are 14 and 35 find the ap now when they ask you find the ap we should know what are the two things that define an ap the first term and d so basically in simple words you have to find out a and d so fifth term we know tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d so t5 is going to be a plus pi minus 1 that is 4d and this turns out to be fifth term is 14 and the twelfth term is going to be a plus 12 minus 1 11d which turns out to be 35 so we need to find a and d so you have 1 and 2 so if you do 2 minus 1 you get a minus a 0 11d minus 4d is 70 35 minus 14 21 so d is 21 by 7 which is 3 substitute this value in any one of the equations and you get a plus 4 into 3 is 14 that is a is equal to 14 minus 12 which is so a is 2 and b is 3 so that means the first term is going to be the ap is going to be 2 then a plus b that is 2 plus 3 5 third term is going to be this 5 plus 3 8 then 2 5 8 11 11 plus 3 14 plus 3 17 and you find that every term is 3 more than the previous one. So, you've been asked to find the AP. The AP is 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, 17 and so forth. Okay. Yes. So, that's what we have.